Yes, hello guys. Um, I just recorded it, but yeah, when I watched the video, the the quality of the audio was absolutely shit. But anyway, so we will make it again. And here in this tutorial, I, I was just um, rendering this uh, robotic arm I have modeled. Uh, let me just uh, show you quickly how that looks. So, yeah, yeah, something like that. Yes, I created that model and now I gave it already a few textures, like some metallic one with a little bit like a, of a rough map. Okay, you don't see it right now, but yes, in the renders later. And also, yeah, like a uh, paint material with a little bit like of a clear coat with a little bit of a bump map. And yeah, now is uh, it is the lighting and I just wanted to share with you some of my process, some of the ideas. Uh, maybe we will get into some happy accidents and then you will see uh, like in, in real time how, yeah, how I, how I work. So let's... Uh, put all the slide I used already into a group like my OG light and disable it. So yeah, we have uh, what you have to do. You have to um, open, activate the HDI environment with, I don't know, some kind of a texture, something like that. So you just see it. And yeah, first step for me is definitely always like to place the camera. And there I, I just play, <clears throat> sorry, uh, around with different focal lengths. For example, now I'm using 75. Um, yeah, like in the last tutorial, yeah, which I deleted because of the audio, I explained that you it's always good to use like a, a, a higher focal length because then, uh, whoops, for example, run, if you take 100 and where is my robot? Yeah, if you press H, then you uh, get it, uh, to it. Then you see it, it looks really flat and the proportions are like very, they look right, you know. And if you make, for example, focal length 25, like kind of fish eye, or let's go like really down like 20, you see like most of the cases, that's not the look you want. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's also kind of cool, you know, like this part, it's like, coming out of um, of the of the screen and this is much more big but yeah you see like the the the, the, the proportions are not uh, right but you can still find some interesting uh, perspectives for like if you go with the octane uh, with the, I'm using here octane rig pro that's from Nico Media. It's just ten dollars or something. It's so awesome, so easy, so fast to use with HDI. <clears throat> Check it out. And so yeah, I'm just positioning something like that, the camera, and I am pressing F2. So I am in the viewport. I can move, but the camera is here the same. And I'm just creating a null object and bringing the null object there yeah, somewhere, somewhere here. So now if we go to objects, lights. Octane targeted area light, this light is always looking to our uh, target. So you see, this is absolutely too, too bright. I bring the light source always a little bit down. And in this case, I bring the temperature up so our light will be a little bit blue. And yeah, and now it is just like, um, yeah, you see, it's just black. And I want like kind of paint with the, with the light. So I just uh, using one light and just try to find some interesting light situation and shadow situations and uh, yeah just bear with me and you will see what I mean like if I press F1 I can go back to our uh, camera view and I just want to bring it maybe 25 or something and uh, yeah that's that's kind of oh, oh just let me uh, just a second, just save it. We will make a few different variations. Yeah, I did already 10, so this is number 11. So, yeah, something something like that looks looks look looks cool. 
and yeah just trying out you know when you have the final renders you see what's what's looking cool what does not looking uh, does not look so cool so yeah back again in the viewport with uh, f2 and you see i have here a little bit too much light but i want it somewhere here and up yeah something you see something like that maybe a little bit more light and yeah guys i have again outside construction so yeah i hope it's not so loud yeah that looks very good you know and now we can just control click and bring it down so we have a light from 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 the bottom and we can disable the first light for for that so we can just focus on that one light source and yeah that's kind of i like that so both lights together we have already some that kind of look and i like it but i'm missing if if you look here like this laser thing here it is metallic and it's it's just black in some spots because we have no environment and i want and also here you know it's it's i want some kind of highlights so that pops a little bit more and is like separated from the background so let's duplicate again one of our light source disable all the other lights and just bring that light yeah something like that to the right so yeah we have something you see like get some kind of highlights but i bring this null object okay i create a new one just call it pointer so it's just pointed at the very tip of the laser where we want the light and we go to the target tag and bring the pointer there so our light is only exactly pointing the slide but we see it here in the camera and we don't want it so we go to all our lights go to visibility and camera visibility off shadow visibility both is off and you see now it's just uh, here without we see it so yeah something like that what we bring it yes you see we have it here something like that maybe a little bit less just a little bit if we render run region maybe even more something like that and if we bring all the other lights you see that is already a separation but we are missing here a little bit of the light so it's maybe different size uh, just experimenting yeah something like that so we we have a fade here something like that and the same let's try maybe here some highlights so we take this uh, light here control click drag it up or just control click z and v and we have it here we just want to bring it to the other side so we go to coordinate system and the x value just make it minus 48 and then again try to reposition it and yeah find some interesting cool looking sh shapes of light yes exactly you see something like that maybe yeah just yes you see now we have this and it's cool it's it's just a little detail but it just brings more form into it you know but um, yeah let's just save it uh, file name number 11 and yes also we have some glow here of course so if you go to the camera tag post processing enable and here you have the bloom power that was too much because i see sometimes people because they think that looks cool they bring it so much but yeah it's kind of it looks very like sci-fi and like very yeah robotic and all that stuff but it's too much it's not that realistic so just a little bit and clamp it and yes I, yes something like that maybe even less and i'm saving that always as a render pass so i can make it later how i want in, in photoshop so yeah now i control saving our project here and, and bring it to to add to render queue so i can render it later and yeah i will tell you some things later about that so yeah let's just move to the next one so we go f1 to go into our camera and this time let's make something something normal something i don't know 75 and look it's like instantly like some kind of interesting 
or oh, very interesting perspective. I, I like that, like like on the same height, you know. So yeah, let's rename it so we don't overwrite it accidentally. So that's number two. And we rename it also the render passes number two and also the, the finished render number two. So something like that. And look, we have a little bit different perspective, but the lighting is still, we can still use it, you know? So we can just maybe bring that to the middle. And I like that. It's like a closer up shot. Maybe we can add some depth of field. So we go to the camera tag to, to thinless, to depth of field. And this is the focus picker and where we want to focus. I don't know, like either that or that. Uh, let's, let's go with that metallic part. And we just click somewhere here in the render port and we bring the aperture a little bit up. Uh, just a little bit. So you see, now we have a little bit depth of field and like uh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, you see this is out of focus and this is... And that looks already cool, guys. I like it. I like it. Yes. Something like that. And again, just control click, sh uh, shift, uh, control save to save it and bring it to the render queue. So yeah, let's go with a different look. First of all, we bring again the aperture down and we save the project with yeah, number 13. And again, the same here and the same here. So now, yeah, like let's find something where we see like most of the, uh, don't think so much now. I'm not so thinking much about the lighting now because I first want to find the, position of the camera yeah something like that maybe we can even turn the camera a little bit so i don't know just just finding some interesting sh composition you know and yeah like something from 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 the down and we see a little bit from there maybe we can bring a little bit down the focal length maybe 65 not 665 so we can see a little bit more from the camera, uh, from the robotic arm. Yeah, something like that. And again, I press F2, disable all my light and just one by one and bam, guys, you see? Like, that's always what I'm trying to achieve, you know? Like, I want bright spots and I want some shadows, you know? Like, those why I always try to add a lot of details to the object. Because then you see like you have so much happening there and look, it's just one light source. So we have this light source coming from the top. Maybe we can reposition it even a little bit. And yeah, something like that. And we have all those hard, hard lines, uh, highlights here in some places. But you see guys, now just one part is lit. And all the, we can make it even a little bit tiny bit brighter. And all the other parts are in the shadow. So we have to light them up a little bit, but just a little bit. So we just control click. Oh, we just take another light that we have. So yes, we activate that. That is at the bottom. And guys, for example, this, this is very bad lighting because you see, it's just boring. It's like you don't have shadows. You don't have like interesting light and shadow combinations that's just light and all that metallic surfaces they're just black so that's absolutely not working you know so you have just to play around a little bit something yeah maybe you find some you see something you see again we have some nice looking highlights but that's not what i need right now and uh, yeah, maybe something, something from from the down here, but it's not that what I need. So yeah, you see, guys, it's it's just trying and playing around, and yeah, maybe something like that how does it look with this light yeah we, so we bring a little bit so we brighten up a little bit the shadows you know but now we, we, we need highlights because again it's it's just losing itself in the background so 
we take again just one light and we bring to that light so the normal object uh, target object and we need something some highlights yeah something something yeah that's somewhere somewhere good yes 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 exactly exactly mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you know like for example like we have this situation here but you see we have some dark spots we have to fix it but it's just black going into black like black going into black and with this light boom you know like it's directly like popping out of the picture because those light hi hi highlights are separating it you know so i like highlights very much and yeah something like that and now when we see, when we look we, we don't have here highlights but i would like maybe to to try to get some highlights there so we just dupli duplicate one light source and just reposition it maybe yes exactly what i want you see now we just have it here um, just have it there and if we bring all the light back we don't see it that much here now but we have some kind of highlights and also like here and also where else like here you know because without this you see for example if we go here let me just zoom in a little bit for example this metal part it is just black it's just gray and, and black and there's no highlight but we want highlight so with this light boom it's absolutely guys that brings the dimension you know and with one light source we have so much effect so guys look how awesome that looks already and what we have again here we have there this i like everything but we need a little bit more light and highlights here so again we just create one light or we just uh, duplicate it and just try yeah some oh, oh guys that's that's good and i like the color of the light it's like coolish color you know like blue a little bit and yeah just just a little bit that's too much maybe make it smaller a little bit the light and guys again it's just playing around and back and forth and just activate all that light and and see how it looks and yes but i need a little bit more of 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 highlights so just just play around yes yeah, something something like that maybe a little bit you see we we light a little bit the shadows but we also have some nice interesting highlights and yeah also the cape from the other side oh yes that's i think that would look good and bring all light back let it render a little bit and yeah that that looks good and also we bring the sample rate a little bit out on every light just a little bit so it just will look a little bit cleaner and yeah it's maybe a little bit dark here on, on the left side so we can make a little tiny bit reposition the slide I, I just think there is a little bit better option to, to yeah yeah that the, the highlight helps us to, to bring it form so yeah i think with uh bloom that looks cool you know because also the highlight will cast some like glow you know that's that's also very good so let's save that uh number 13 number 13 control s so oh am i recording yes so yeah we save it and, and bring it again to our render queue add to render queue so we have number 13 and let's go to the next one guys just um we go to the camera f1 and just see what happens and yeah guys obviously you uh, now i'm using like my robot arm i model but you can use for this kind of shots 
like this kind of dramatic, elegant, like, you know, like, you can use any model, like, just take what you have and bring it in, bring it in an HDI environment and bring it down and just place and play with some lights. I like something like that, something like that, but I don't know, maybe one, <laughs> no, why is it not working? Ah, because, yeah, caps lock, sorry guys. Yeah, something like that. Maybe we can even uh, rotate it. Just, just I don't know. Just find something interesting. It's, it can be, you know, it's just one object, so we can, we don't have environment, so we can go crazy with the rotation and and, and just all that stuff. Bring it again a little bit down, so I capture a little bit more. So. Yeah, maybe something like that and I will have the focus point somewhere here. So let's disable all the light, go to F2, so we are free in our viewport and let's just, again, like we just take one light and we just see what happens. Just, just playing around. Just, yeah, we have highlights. I like that. It's already like cool looking shapes, you know, like, yeah, we have some light here. This is definitely too bright. Yeah, something, something like that. Let's just move into the next one. And just finding interesting shapes and yeah, that's too bright. And you know, we have all that me metallic and that reflections are cool. So we go something like that. Yeah, something uh, that's too bright here. But let's see how that looks with this. Yeah, something like that. Let's save it. Let's go to the next light, maybe bring it to the bottom and just a little bit less brightness. Yeah, I'm feeling already that uh, maybe that's not that right. And yeah, guys, and, and, and just, you know, just make some different variations like even if if you're not 100 satisfied just save it render it and you can make a lot in the post and also it's just practicing you know so if you have like me for example here like of the same style like 13 ren different renders different positions and you're just practicing like your eye and like the the positioning of of the lights and and the model and the camera and it's just practice and the more you do it, the better it gets and the more understanding you become, like what works, what does not work. And yeah, something like that, like it looks cool, but this spot is so bright. So let's try to position that camera. Yes, maybe something like that. And yeah, and maybe we need here on the top uh, on the front a little bit more light so let's again new light and just yeah, just bring into the target object the pointer so this cam light is only pointing to yes yeah, to laser here exactly like like that uh, just just find an interesting position And just see what looks good, like trust your eyes, you know, like it's and just think about like the highlights you have est established already and where they are. And but yeah, guys, again, it's it, it it comes automatically with time, you know, like something like something like that. And with bloom, it looks like that. So yeah, we have like a little bit of light, you know, but not too much. Maybe we can make 
yeah, like that light a little bit brighter so we have a little bit more light so yeah something something like that i'm not so sure about this but as i said guys it's just experimenting so render queue let's save it as a as a new project like number 14 number 14 and i'm rendering it all in 6k later over the night so yes Control s at the render queue and let's go with the next one so again f1 and yes i don't know maybe a Oh, it's, it's not looking good. Uh, for now it's something like that. And just looking and, and seeing like, ah, do I want the cables? Do I don't want like, maybe I want this part here. Like what works, what does not work? Oh, and we wanted some focal length in the last shots, but yeah, we forgot it. Oh, I forgot it. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like just this connection, you know, like, I don't know, maybe, yeah, something like that. I don't know, like maybe you are, uh, you know, like this golden ratio, or maybe I'm edi editing it later here, but like, you see, like, I, I want to focus now on this part here and you know, like this upper part of the arm is like, it just guides the eye and also it makes this curve here and like this point is on the, uh, if you divide this image by three here and by three here, you have like some four points. Yeah, maybe I can make a video about that, like about the golden ratio and like compo uh, composition. But if this point is here in the middle and you have some kind of guidance, then that looks good. And of course now with the light, it's not looking so cool. So let's again F2 and oh yes, I like that. It looks a little bit like, you know, like mm, this, I don't know, like NASA, like this, there's a space station robotics shots. I don't know, like spaceship, like, this kind with the white and metallic and that light. I like that. So, yeah, like, let's try to find something interesting. Like, maybe go to the top. We want definitely the light on the laser tip. Or, no, let's bring the laser tip, the null group, which was here on the top, a little bit more back where we want our light, something like that. So now when we position our light, it should be only pointing to this end. Yeah, it's a little bit too big. So I just want, yeah, something, something here, but yes, you see like we have on the top the light and then the shadows and it's looking cool. And with this light, we can make this light. Wait, where is it? Um, ah, yes. Like we have here the background a little bit lit, but let's bring it a little bit down. So because we don't want to focus on it, we want to focus here. So we can bring this light a little bit up. Yeah, something. But why is when I activating one light, the other light is going darker? Ah, because yes, it's because this light is blocking it, but the other light, you know? Okay, so I don't know why this light is not working properly. But yeah, anyways, I, uh, we just continue. So yeah, we have something like that and maybe we need a little bit more light from the right side because there is too much shadow going on. So let's find something interesting. I have this light, bring that light. So this light is looking here. I just uh, took another target object point. So yeah, something like that. 
maybe even down and yeah you see like we have some nice light situations but we need here a little bit more light I want but yeah I like this light because it has some highlight it is not too much light so yeah um, let's bring a oct new, uh, null object and let's bring the null object somewhere here where we want the light a little bit inside where the cables are starting and we bring this null object to this target light here so this light is looking only at the null object we just created yes bring it down yes just a little bit more light inside there Yeah, and also we make it smaller and yeah let's see how that looks everything together and now we want a focus point so we bring with the focus picker and we bring the object so this is all only showing us the object we go to octane tag and again thinless and bring the aperture a little, a little bit up and yeah that was too much and we have something like that maybe even make the lights a little bit brighter uh, which light is it yes this just a little bit oh, control shift z if you um, accidentally move the camera but we want to move in in uh, f2 where we have this light and just uh, just here you know like a little bit brighter spots a little bit darker spots i'm not so sure if i like this shot here um but yeah just again it's it doesn't have to be perfect guys and and that's why we are doing so many different shots because like if we like you know we can spend half of uh, half of the day on one shot and then this one shot is perfect or we can try much more different variations like for example in this case like 14 like 15 15 renders and we can run into so many happy accidents and maybe find something new what we wouldn't be focusing on you know and then out of this 15 we have like two three four five maybe even six very good ones or maybe no one or just maybe one one uh, just one you know and and yeah that's why I'm, I'm doing like a lot of different variations and i'm also saving them all so if i like one i can always come back and also for the render queue you know like you have to to have it like in one file so yeah how long did it take and ah yes also what i wanted to tell you like because you're doing so many renderings you know like what i'm doing i'm uploading them to like uh, stock um, sites like adobe stock shutterstock and you know like this is like for example like all the different images for example like even even this one here you know it's just what you just use for i don't know like for some kind of rendering or test rendering or just even like this clay render you know and all my old artworks and i'm just uploading it on adobe stock you know and it, of course you won't get a millionaire out of that but i i have one at 186 images and i started maybe a few months ago or something yeah you see just maybe a few months ago and yeah i'm making a little bit of money and i'm also doing that to other stock sites and like imagine if you do that like for the next five years like i don't know i'm not uploading every day but like like now i have like 15 renders and after that i will edit them all in photoshop and i will still like uh, upload every image of that even if it doesn't look good maybe because sometimes you have something like that you know and it's just a room with like shit lighting and still people buy this you know because they can use that somewhere or i don't know something like that people use this so i just uploading it and it's it's free and you can just upload and you'd never know what people want and not 
The same like for 3D models. Sometimes you create a 3D model and you don't think oh, no one will buy it, but the people will buy it, you know. So, so yeah, just uploading and like after a year you can see what works better, what works less. So, yeah, and also when you have so many different... Uh, yeah, that looks kind of cool. If you have so many different renderings and you uh, edit them later in Photoshop, like just the, the color and, and stuff a little bit, you uh, you practice like all that you know and, and the more you practice like it's it's getting better with time so yeah we have this already in the render queue no so let's save it 15 and 15 and to render queue and yeah, i think that's enough for for today i just wanted a quick tip so yeah just take some kind of model and you have make black background make HDI environment, bring it to zero and just put some, some lights and then just play around and that's what I'm doing and um, I yeah, also maybe good to mention like for example as exactly like when I need some, for example I have kind of, um, yes I, I, I created a robotic arm and then I'm searching just on ArtStation or Pinterest or somewhere also for a robotics arm and I just look what other people do, you know, how they position it, you know, like you see like here this shot, this camera is like tilted, you know, like weeded. It's not just straight and it's different perspectives, different colors. Here close up just from, from that uh, arm he thing here. And yeah, I'm sometimes I'm, I'm looking, for example, uh, oh, oh uh, there's construction sound. Sorry. So, okay. Like, you have Edon Goracio, you know, and he also uses like this kind of lighting style and you can just check and just look at it and just try to do the same. So yeah, guys, that's it because construction and tell me if you like that kind of videos where I just make some explanation while I am in the process and if you learn something from it or do you want like step-by-step -step tutorials and uh, yeah, that was a step-by-step -step tutorial, but you know what I mean. So yeah, did you enjoy it? Leave a comment, leave a like and yeah, see you next time guys.